Welcome back to Random Rick Reviews. We have Bear Valley here. Got this from a thrift store for two bucks, something like that, maybe three. So pretty good condition. Box in good shape. It's like it's a tile layer kind of game, kind of like labyrinth maybe. Well, I'm sure there's more to it than that. So we're gonna unbox it. See what we got. Just unboxing, see components and how the game looks. So I do like the cover. So we got a deck here. Some uh, meeples. Some punch outs, flashlights, machetes, some other stuff there. Alright. So the contents I think are all there. I think that one is a canoe at the bottom. I think it's just underneath that sheet if I remember. If I remember looking at it and believe it. Everything was intact. I'm gonna pop open this deck, take a look at how these cards look. I believe it's two to four players. Um, it's on the front. Let's see. Two to six players. Over up here. Okay, so we have some character cards. We have Violet. Vertigo, Sunny, so they all say something at the bottom of the card and on the flip side it's going to be like two paragraphs of their abilities and I guess of their weaknesses. We'll try to focus this camera a little bit better so if they can read that bottom text, get it as best I can. And we got Rocky, Fozzie, Forest. I think he's afraid of water or something like that. So, and then here's like your main deck. I'm just gonna be putting down. You have some obstacles, it looks like here. Some mushrooms. A fox. Uh, gold. So, you can find gold in this wilderness. Some bridges. I'm sure to go over water. And then yep, there was the bear, I think. I remember correctly yeah so there's the bear you know that guy to show up try to avoid that so a couple bear cards not too many I'm sure it's that random when you shuffle and draw cards so allergic to trees so they're gonna have like a weakness and a bonus depending where they are like on the map so each one of these characters have different things on the back of the card so you read what you do with thirsty water bonus so on and so on so that's kind of cool I'm sure it makes the game a little more interesting than just laying down tiles and the camera's a little blurry and with the instruction booklet here so the card stock's pretty decent it's not bad this is the contents Looks like we have everything that we're supposed to. Go over the objective here. We're going to be laying cards out in like a pre made pattern. And then you're going to be drawing cards to add on to that pattern. So you should try to get to you have the main camp, which is on the left side there. That's where you're going to start. And you're trying to get to that destination camp. Uh, I think there's an alternate win condition where if you get so much gold, you also win. And you're going to pick your character card. Or your your card and your character here. So it'll match the color. And different types of cards, pathways. So that like zigzag in the middle you see the left is going to be your starting map. There's a bunch of configurations as in the back you can do like advanced game. So that's the basic game setup. And it'll change according to how many players are playing. And you can see there where you can be adding cards to make the forest bigger, where you'll be moving around to different areas. And you're trying to get add it, add enough cards to get to that destination camp. So I'm starting the game text. So rule book's a little long. 
uh, you have exploring, you have like a, like a sundial clock you use, and you're going to call like 1 o'clock, I'm doing this, 2 o'clock, I'm doing so-and-so, like traversing or searching, and different things are going to happen when you do that kind of stuff. And then I think every time, I think every time you're going to draw your card, and then I think you can stay in one spot and draw another card. So, again, it's just unboxing. It's going through the instructions a little bit just to see the different type of cards. And if the bear shows up, I think he blocks that part off and you have to go around. Which makes sense. It's a bear. So it seems like a pretty okay game. I have got to play it yet. Just picked it up from a thrift store. Not too long ago for a good price. Uh, Two forty nine looks like what I paid for it. So I'm sure this goes for like nine. It looks like a nine ninety nine to like fourteen ninety nine type game you'll find at a game store. So this is Bear Valley. Go ahead and skip ahead here. Look at some of the different configurations. So there's your example game. Now it's going to start. Then you're going to add on left, right, left, right. Well, you see the pathways. So when you pick one, it's going to match. And then you can move on to explore more of the forest. And then once you get to the destination camp you win, or find enough gold you win, there's another alternate rules in the back you can play. Lots of example games here in the instruction book. So you can see, uh, the fox, I think, gives you, like, good items. Good things happen, I think, when the fox shows up. So, yeah, like, beginning map, advanced map. And then how many players... So you have the advanced game where you're going to use more items, I guess. The canoe probably goes over water. Flashlight probably helps for searching, stuff like that. So that's a speculation. I haven't played it yet. But you would figure that is what would happen. And character background here. So card size good. Game looks like it might be kind of fun. And the price is right. So there you have it. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.